Welcome to our lecture online and now let's talk about the atmospheric conditions that affect our ability to see images clearly. Matter of fact, we have a word for that. The word is seeing. Sometimes an astronomer will say, the seeing is good today. What does that mean? Or better, better said, the seeing is good tonight because of course during the daytime we don't do a lot of observations in astronomy. Well, the light that has to reach our telescopes must travel through many miles of atmosphere. It's about 60 miles or 65 miles from the surface of the Earth to where space truly begins. That's about 100 kilometers. That's, at that point, the atmosphere is so thin it's barely no longer there. And in that 65 miles of atmosphere, there's a lot of turbulence, there's a lot of dust particles that are floating around, and all that commotion of the atmosphere causes the light that has to travel through it to be bounced around. And so the images that we see are very blurred. For example, a picture that we take of Pluto, and of course you need a very big telescope to be able to see that. For example, the 5 meter Hale telescope on Mount Palomar in California. It has a tremendous uh, mirror there that's 16 feet across, weighs a number of tons of glass, and yet the resolution angle theoretically would be fantastic for a telescope like that, but the atmosphere limits it. Let's calculate the resolution angle for such a telescope. Theta is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the fifth. The wavelength of the visible light is about 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. And the diameter would be 5 meters. And what would be the resolution angle for such a telescope? So we have 500 e to the 9 minus divided by 5 times 2.5 e to the fifth equals and it would be 0 0.2, oh, no, no, one more zero, 0 0.025 arc seconds, which is absolutely amazing. And then if you convert it to a fraction, it's 1 40th of an arc second. So an extremely good resolution angle, yet in real life, we don't get that. The atmosphere, at its best conditions, limits us to about one arc second. And when the conditions aren't as good, when the seeing is not as good, it may be two or three arc seconds. So only on very quiet nights when the air is very still, it's very clean, maybe after it's rained for a while and all the dust is gone, it's settled down, the best resolution angle we can expect is about one degree. And so therefore the resulting picture of Pluto will look like, this, like that on even good seeing nights. So how do we get around that? What can we do to get over the atmospheric limitations? Well, there's two things we can do. One thing is we're beginning to come up with what we call adaptive optics where we can actually change the shape of the mirror with computers at various intervals, very quick intervals, to try and compensate for that. Image processing, computers will take the image and clean it up through image processing techniques. And, of course, what we can also do is put telescopes up in space. So like the Hubble Space Telescope has been a fantastic uh, advance in our ability to see things clearly by being able to get the resolution angles theoretically possible by the telescope. Now the Hubble Space Telescope has a diameter of about 2.4 meters, about half a hail, and so the resolution angle would be about 1 20th of an hour second, but 1 20th of an hour second is 20 times better than on the best seeing conditions in the atmosphere. So you can see the atmosphere is a really hard obstacle to get across, or to get around I should say, cross around, whatever, we can, whatever word we can use, but um, the concept is we need to get past it somehow and we've come up with some tremendous techniques to do so.